Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, Wraith King, bringing you news from beyond the mirror, from the other world. And today we are reviewing another set of heroes, actually, from Soul King. Now, um, originally, I didn't really want to do too many videos on Soul King because I just didn't like it as much as I do Seven Nights. When I played the game, the story was great. It was, it's awesome. I like the game, but I just couldn't really spend too much time with it because I was busy with Seven Nights and other RPG games like MOBAs and all that other great stuff. But now that they released these heroes, I kind of had a little bit of an itch to review them. Every time there's a new character on a game I really like, or any game in general, I just really have this serious itch to review it. It's just, wow, I really wanted to review these new characters. Now, um, there are two of these, two new characters, I believe. One of them is a guy and the other is a girl. I like, I want to review the girl first because I really like her name, Asiya. That's a pretty name. Um, and the other guy's name is Boring. Well, no, not really. It's, it's not really Boring. One of my best friends has that name. It's not a boring name. It's a great name. Kyle. Let's do Asiya first. Wow, I mean, wow, those are some very, very, very beautiful eyes, aren't they, my fellow gamers? Those are just gorgeous eyes. Now, she is supposed to be a tank. Okay, that seems to be a decent AoE attack. What about this one? Now, I'm really, I've heard a lot about this skill right here. It's supposed to reflect damage, I believe. Yeah, it's reflecting damage, but does it, is it doing doing it to people up front too? Yeah, I think it's uh, reflecting damage for the row up front too. So that's a very useful skill. I might actually get her. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when I'll be able to get her, but I really do want her. That skill that reflects damage is really, really useful. It's actually a lot more useful than the character I'm using. Um, um, uh, the, the, what's his name? Do without a head. The Dullahan, of course, one of my favorite creatures of all, but yeah. I think it's pronounced Dullahan, or Dullahan, one of the other. Can't, can't really, I don't really know how to pronounce that really. But, um, anyways, she's a very strong tank, so if you looking for a good tank character, she's perfect. Perfect for you. I mean, the first skill, it's, it doesn't do too much damage because, well, she is a tank, but it's, it's a really good skill, and it's good for a tank to have an ability that is an AoE. Because the, the, the tank that I have, he doesn't have an AoE attack. He has an attack that just deals damage to one person. Although that damage is massive, it just still attacks one person. When I have a tank, I want him to have at least one AoE skill. Because, well, it makes him seem a little, be a little more of a threat to the entire team. So, so yeah, I kind of prefer my um, tanks to have an AoE attack instead of just uh, an attack that attacks one person. But anyways, let's take a look at the other guy. Now hold on a minute. How can you go into battle with shoulder pads this dang pointy? You could poke one of your allies' eyes out just by turning around. Or you could poke your own eye out just by looking over your own shoulder. I'm still liking to see that gauntlet just looks so cool, but I like this guy too. I have to admit, this guy's pretty cool too. But that gauntlet was just too cool. <laughs> that gauntlet was just sick. But um, this guy is clearly a mage. And right away, we're seeing an AoE attack. This next attack, probably, I'm expecting it to, um... Oh, it deals bleed damage. That's nice. But it deals it to distant enemies. That's still not bad. That's still not bad. So, he's a really, really strong rear character. Now, if you want to get this guy, I would, yeah, I would recommend him. But there are a lot of characters that are already... Uh, very powerful for the rear and I, I still kind of would would recommend him regardless because this this attack could be very useful to you because the rear characters in this game can be quite a pain so you might want to get some characters that deal some serious damage to, to the characters in the rear uh, so yeah I actually would recommend getting him along with um, one of my personal favorite characters uh, she's also a legendary character. I just got her recently. Her. I would also recommend this character as well because um, she attacks people in the rear. And it, it, she kind of, she both attacks people both in the rear and the front. So you want characters that kind of do damage to both, eh? naturally. But 
dealing damage to the rear is something you're really, really going to want in a character because, as I said before, they can get quite annoying in the rear on this game. Very annoying. So you're going to want to have a character like this, especially if you're going up in arena. Have a character that deals some serious damage to the rear. But at the same time, I would highly recommend uh, getting a Sia if you're looking for a legendary character. If you're ju if you're just now getting the selector, I'm not entirely sure if any of these characters will be available on the selector right now. They'll probably be available on the selector next month. But um, if so, awesome! <laughs> that, that would be awesome if they were available on the monthly selector. But if they are, I would recommend getting the Sia because tanks are universally useful. Um, and that's something I've just noticed about most RPG games. Tanks can be used for practically everything. They can make great fighters, great mages, and it, they're just all around great characters, and that's why I use them so often. So I would highly recommend getting a Sia first, so she should be your main focus if you're, if you're looking for a good character. But um, Kyle, Kyle's cool too. He's really, really tough. Dealing damage to rear is it, really, really useful, but he has low HP, and if they get to him, it's over. I mean, so you don't have too many people in the back. I would focus more on the front right now if you're starting out, because there's, those people in the back can be pretty vicious. <laughs> they, they can be pretty dangerous. So you want to have a decent tank up front, and you'll get a lot of characters um, just by playing the game. A lot of characters that deal damage like Kyle here. So you probably won't want to focus on getting him. There aren't too many tanks. It took me good one, so that's one, another reason why I would recommend getting a tank first. So, yeah, definitely focus on getting a tank if you can as soon as possible. But, yeah, I, I recommend getting a Sia first if you, if you were planning on getting uh, a legendary character. Kyle would probably be my last choice right now because I've already gotten a pretty decently strong character for the rear. Uh, and, and he's legendary as well. Of course my battery is almost dead. Of course it's almost dead. What's new, my fellow gamers? Anyways, that's all the time I got for this video. I will be making videos in the future about, um, I'm planning and I'm really, really hoping I can get a Gears of War playthrough because that is my favorite game of all time. Gears of War is by far my favorite game. I mean, I love Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is what inspired me to, um, to make this anime I'm actually making. Don't worry, it's it's not it's not anything like Final Fantasy, trust me. <laughs> it's nothing like Final Fantasy at all. <laughs> but it just inspired me to create this little world here. But um, as far as gameplay is concerned, Gears of War has always been my favorite. So I will be doing a playthrough of that. Hopefully the developers will let me. I'll see if I can contact them. When, I, when the game comes out, and I, I would love to do a playthrough for them, at both advertising their game and just having fun with it in general. But anyways, that's all the time I got for this video, my fellow gamers. Take it easy for me, all right? Oh, and almost forgot to say, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't only make videos on mobile games, but right now I am, because, well, there's so many mobile games. There's just so many of them. They're all over the place, and actually, I'm thinking about doing a few silly videos on some of the stupid mobile games that I end up finding. I might end up doing a video about that a little later. But anyways, that's all the time I got. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy for me, alright? Bye.